Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial showing you how to use the scrolls, the PNG scrolls for print and cut um, jewelry from ArkeshaLewisGraphics.com. So once you open the PNG, whichever scroll you want to use, you open the PNG. You bring. I'm showing you in Design Space, so you bring it into your Design Space, and you want to hit Complex, hit Continue. So these are large files, guys. Then hit next and make sure you save it as a print and cut. And hit save. Hit that and add it to the mat. I already had um, well, I had something there. I gotta go re add it. Don't worry about sizing it now. I'm just si resizing it so we can work with it. So let me um, okay. I use this for a previous set, so I'm just going to use it for demonstration, and we're not going to use. We're going to slice this apart. So I'm just going to use the bottom two. Slice. So after you have your nameplate stuff made, It into, if you make it outside of Cricut, then you can pull it in here and then attach these. So let's just slice them apart. There. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to make sure we tie put this to uh, um, print because we have to make both of these because these are these two are cuts I was using it for something else so you want to make sure that it's on print so let's say this is going to be one whole print then cut piece so let's put that on like here and then let's make this color a red. Make sure it goes in the front. And you can make you can make the shadow this whatever color you want to make. You can make that pink and this red. Whatever you wanted to do. You could also import bring in some pictures and you could make this piece in whatever apps you use for creating your nameplate. So if you use um, Fonto, you could use that. You could use whatever you want to do. You can create it outside of um, Design Space and then pull it into Design Space and still connect these two together. It's just whatever you want to do. But let's just say for the sake of showing you how to use it, we're going to do it here. So. And I want to make this, I want it black. And I'll leave that red. To attach these. And then you want to make um, your loops. So you make a, a duplicate of this and put it over this one. I'm going to turn it white so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to make this one smaller. And put it there in the center then hit slice.
turn this off a minute. I'm going to slide it into this A just a bit. Duplicate. Make sure it's over the other one. And then just slide it over to that F, to the corner of that F. Select. Oh, let's let's unglue this a minute. Detach. Now let's select these these two we just made and the Felicia um, shadow part. And let's um. Well, we don't need to weld. We can weld, but we don't need to. So we just need to make sure we turn these two into um, print. Print. And we need to make sure that they're the same color as this. Or you can have it the same color as the red. It's totally up to you. But I'm going to make them black. Attach and hit make. And now, when you send this to your printer, it will all print as one um, image. Print and cut out. So, you print that. Oh, let me cancel. Cancel. So, you get that printed, and then you'll come back. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to tell you before you do the print. Make sure you size it to what size you want it. This right now is a 5 is 5.217. That's the width and it's about 2.863. That's the height. That's that's good. You if you want it smaller, just size it smaller before you do any print and cut. Okay, so after you get it um printed, Let's duplicate and then just turn off of this layer. Let's duplicate and let's make this a uh, no fill. And let's weld it so it makes it one piece. Now this is so that you can do your layers and so that you can do the back of the nameplate. So this will be the front. And this is for your back. So what you're going to need to do is, let's make one more duplicate and turn it off for a minute. So let's turn that one off. This is for your back. So you want to horizontal flip it. And then cut this off. So then you'll say you want your back piece to be gold or you want it to be glitter or red. Whatever you want it to go with the nameplate. Whatever color you want to make it, you just horizontal flip it and now it's a cut file you hit make and you load your mat up with your gold foil your glitter paper whatever color that you want to go for your back load your mat up with that and cut this out so when you're finished that you come back and turn this one on now this one we're going to use it to make the layers so I'm going to say you'll need, you can't, because of the size of this, you won't be able to um, get two side by side on a 8.5 by 11 sheet of 110 pound cardstock. I like to use recollections, recollections or recollections. I don't know which way they say it, but that is the brand and it's 110 pounds. So for the, for a nameplate necklace, I would use four to six four to six layers so let's say with this one we're gonna go with four so you would need four of these and you may not get you may you for this size you might can only get three on one sheet because it is five Yeah, you're only going to be able to get three on one sheet. So, 
Let's cut that one off. So either, either way, you, you got your three, and then you hit make, and you load your, um, it's going to do this if you don't attach it. So attach, and then hit make. So you load your um, mat up with black cardstock or white cardstock, whatever you chose, whatever you're choosing to use as your middle layers. You load that up. And then once everything is cut, I'm going to cut everything on for you. You you would need to cut one, that one more if you're going to do four layers. You would need to um, load your mat up twice with the black cardstock and go ahead and cut your last piece. So let's get everything cut on. So you have this piece. Let's, let's make this gold because let's say I was going to use gold. Let's make it yellow. And then um, detach these. And let's turn, let's leave them how they are. So let's just say you have your um layers. I have a video in the group showing how I do my layering um, for the earrings. And I pretty much do the name place stuff the same way. I don't put the whole set together. I do half and half. So I would take for the four layers, I would take and glue these two together and glue these two together. So now this flips. So then I'm going to take the back and glue it to, to, to these two pieces. And then I will take the front and glue it to these two pieces. After I got these all glued, I would take I put my podge on the front of this one and and I would not need to do my podge on this one because this would be this represents my gold foil. So if you use um a plain card stock, let's say you flip this image horizontal flipped it to use as the back image as well then you would need to use my podge on it so for this I let's just say I was making it and I used foil I would not need to use my podge I could put acrylic I mean um, resin or UV resin right on top of this so I would do that put the resin on top of that and set it to the side if it's UV I would put it under the light to let it dry for this piece right here I would um, put my podge over the top and once it dried then I would apply the resin to it and set it to the side or if it was UV resin I would apply the UV resin and then stick it under the light and once the resin was dry for both of these sides then I would flip them over to the black cardstock um, side and put my podge and then glue these two together And that's all I would do for this and if you if you like for if you don't want to use resin you don't have to you could just easily put my podge on this and um, wait till it dries and then spray with the rust-oleum clear lacquer it's just a clear acrylic spray so you could put my podge on it let it dry and spray the acrylic sp acrylic spray on this and you could also spray this side with acrylic spray that will protect the the um, foil finish if you did not want to use resin okay I hope this helps